Lifestyle expert Jennifer Lynn Robinson, good to see you. Good to see you. Now, remind me, you're a Philadelphian. Yes. You have a law degree from where? Villanova. And, but now you've become <laughs> a speaker. A speaker and a commentator, yeah. Commentator. Yep. And you've been speaking on this thing called tipflation. Yes. How do you describe it? So tipflation is exactly what it sounds like. It's an inflation of the tip, but it's really been a result of a confluence of factors, which are technology, the pandemic, and social pressure. Um, so you had mentioned, you know, you get, you get to the POS machine, there's something with uh, turning around and saying no tip or custom tip, and that's actually come to fruition a lot lately with a lot of stories because of Starbucks. They just changed their POS system, so now you actually have to affirmatively hit no tip in order to complete the transaction. Oh, Lord. So <laughs> right in front of them, too. Right in front of them, right? Mm -hmm. So you can't even just decide, you know, oh, I'll just give a dollar or whatever. You actually have to say no tip. Um, so that's actually angered not only customers, but also uh, the baristas who say that people actually get very irritable and angry because there really isn't an extra service that's being provided, and why are they being asked to tip or even affirmatively refuse the tip? Well, I always tip when I go to a coffee shop. You do? Yeah. Well, yeah, Always? throw some, well, yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, the change or you throw a dollar into the little cup. Okay, mm -hmm. yeah, well, yeah. that's great. Yeah. yeah, you're wonderful. Yeah. Well, so, don't but, you tip? <laughs> you tip. Well, I don't get coffee, so oh, that's true. I don't really go to coffee shops. Uh, but when it comes to this, that's what you mean by tiflation and other different instances where we're not usually used to seeing situations where we have to tip. Exactly. They're now saying, would you like to tip? Exactly. So it's essentially non-traditional situations where we wouldn't expect a tip. And so do you have to? You don't have to. So the best way actually to combat it is to pay cash. Um, because if you pay cash, you can either determine your tip without oh, the machine, wow. or you can just pay for the drink <laughs> and not tip, right? It, no, I just I didn't think about that. Like, right. start and it's, cash. it's a novel concept, right? Most people don't even carry cash anymore. No, they don't. Yeah. Yeah. He always gets on me because I never have cash. Yeah, so that's one so. thing you can do. You can also just, you know, kind of like understand that you don't have to be guilted into tipping and say no because mm -hmm. there hasn't been an extra service provided, and, right? And, and it's not that we're trying to get people out of tipping because for some, you know, times are hard right now. Well, Everything sure. costs more. Absolutely. Money's tight, so it's only, you know, if you're able, sure, go ahead. Do you Absolutely. still tip, uh, uh, like, letter carriers? Absolutely, yeah. But I mean, they usually have a minimum where you can give a gift. Teachers? But, yeah, I mean, anybody that provides a regular service right. or adds something to your life, those are people that should always be tipped.